Hi there, this is Erin from robotgirl.com and today I am going to show you the robot mesh network finally in action and it's between the robo bird which is right here and Manoi. So what the robot mesh network is is basically XBs inside of each robot and they communicate with each other and based on the commands that are sent then the robot does different behaviors. So in this example I'm going to show you a uh, RoboBird reacting with the PIR sensor which is right there and whenever it gets triggered above a certain threshold then its arm or wing <laughs> will move and so, uh, every five times then its beak will open and uh, right before that happens it will send a message through its XB to Manoi where Manoi will be just doing a both arm jingle or a bajingle move so I, I'll show you how it works first and then we can go in depth inside of the robots to actually see how I did it. Alright, so um, right now both robots are plugged in with USB. This provides power to the main board and communication board because they're both piggybacked and I just have to plug in RoboBird so that I can give power to its um, motors, servos. Okay. No, no. Okay. Alright. All right. It always jolts beforehand because that's sort of its job. <laughs> and for Manoi I just have to turn on the switches. Alright, so uh Sometimes Manoi doesn't react right away because obviously its board is sometimes busy with other things. Uh, but it will react eventually, especially when the PIR is triggered. Actually, I'm just going to reboot Manoi because it's been on for a while, so there we go. I have to work on optimizing Manoi's time and checking a bit more so that it can receive these commands faster. why it's not working because it was working like five minutes ago <laughs> over here I have a watchdog and the command that Roo bird sends out is just a P byte or ch car char character uh, here's the watchdog unit itself pretty simple so we can see that the data is, is being sent just Manoi is being reluctant to listen to the data. <sighs> Alright, did I turn everything on? Yeah, I did. Okay. Huh. Huh? It looks like... That green LED, not that green LED, but the green LED that was below the strobing one, 
is for the serial servo controller. And it's blinking like as if it is sending commands, but Manoi isn't moving, which is weird. Let's look on the terminal. Okay, well, right there it's supposed to be moving. I'm not really sure why it didn't move. That's kind of not a good thing. <laughs> so, yeah. So this is what happens whenever the PIR sensor is triggered. I'm trying to stand very, very still, but obviously it's not really working with the PIR sensor. Um, see here, if I sort of duck. Alright, I'm going to go and trigger the PIR sensor. And there you go, Manoi moved and that was all completely wirelessly. So. Yeah, the robot mesh ne network is finally in effect. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, so now to see some of the more technical details of this. Let me just turn off the batteries here. Ooh, I don't know what that sound was. Alright, so if you want to know more about how Manoi's setup works, it's really similar to the RoboBirds and I have older videos on it, so you can definitely check those out. They're on my website, robotgirl.com. The way RoboBird works is um, there is a open it up here. So inside of RoboBird, hidden in this nest of wires is an Arduino Mega with a proto screw shield on it. And what the Arduino Mega is for is for RoboBird's main brain or main brain segment, whatever. It's used to control the motors and to look at the sensor inputs. This over here is just an Arduino Uno with a proto screw shield on it also so that it can attach to the other wires. I had to do it this way because it turned out that I couldn't use the servo library and the TLC5940 library on the same Arduino so I had to subclass the I LEDs which use the TLC5940 uh, onto this uh, communication board or the Arduino Uno. So yeah, um, e the Arduinos 
communicate between each other with uh, four wires, so two of them are for serial communication, and then the other two are interrupt pairs, so one of them leads to one interrupt on one Arduino and the other to the other Arduino. And this is so that they can do a handshake. Uh, I use switches on the UART lines so that way I can easily turn them on and off uh, so that I can upload programs onto them. And uh, I always have to make sure that I, I use at least one true UART connection to a software UART connection if I want to use software. So basically I use serial line at, on this communication Arduino and then, uh, sorry, main Arduino and then onto the communication Arduino it it's using uh, the new soft serial library for the uh, communication to the Arduino. For the communication to the XB which is over here, it uses the hardware serial, so there's two switches for that too. Uh, I had a bit of problems with the XB at, at the beginning. For some reason, this one wasn't uh, being able to send stuff out, so that was a weird bug and you'll have to look out for that if you want to make one of these also. Uh, I posted some code on my website and I'll re repost it again so that you can find it. And if you have any questions, you can just comment on the blog. Uh, as for RoboBird, it's coming along pretty well. I, at least I got the mesh networking going now, so that's pretty fun. I have other behaviors for RoboBird also. And I'll probably be posting about those in a later, later video. And uh, as for the wing servos, I replaced this wing with a different servo than the blue ones from Adafruit. I'm not sure why this wing always broke. Uh, it might have just been I got unlucky servos or something. And on this side, I just need to glue on the wing because it fell off. So, yeah. So this is the robot mesh network between RoboBird and Manoi. And, yeah, check out my website, robotgirl.com.